place right now because yeah. we know that there are central figures and the books they've yeah. written. I think mm -hmm. uh, for some of our members, they don't even know the name of the books that he's written. Can you right, give right. us a brief overview of some of his popular texts and, right. and then lead on to the point you're making now? Right, right. So, it, yeah, great. So, Imam um, Maturidi, we have two texts that are extant from him. We have Kitab al-Tawheed, which is um, uh, a Kalam manual, a substantial, thick Kalam manual. What is the um, translation of Kitab al-Tawheed for some of our viewers? Like the, the, bo the book of uh, unicity or the book of oneness or the book of monotheism, perhaps, mm -hmm. depending on how you want to translate it. Um, and actually, Kitab al-Tawheed is a standard name. So in, those, in the 4th century, 10th century um, Gregorian, you had these kind of standard names that books would have. So there'll be other Kitab al-Tawheeds. Mu'tazali mm -hmm. thinkers would have Kitab al-Tawheed. Um, uh, um, other thinkers, even traditional think, traditionalist thinkers, I think Ibn Khuzayma has a Kitab al-Tawheed. So it's a standard name. It's not like okay. a special original name, standard name. Um, the second book um, is a is an expansive tafsir, um, very large, um, 18 volumes in the most, in the best prints we have today. Um, uh, Again, it's yes, it's Turkey that has that's doing the best prints to have the best edition of both Kitab al-Tawheed and of uh, the second. The tafsir is called uh, Ta'wilat al-Quran, or sometimes it's called Ta'wilat al-Ahl sunnah mm. right? So both they, both names are used. Apparently, the, the the publishers of this best edition say that Ta'wilat al-Quran is the best name. Um, Ta'wil um, refers in his time to uh, interpretation. It basically means tafsir. It doesn't necessarily mean a, a specific type of tafsir. Uh, which is a technical term. It's, it's, and you'll see the same um, phrase used uh, by Tabari. And obviously, Imam al is basically um, a contemporary of a Tabari. Mm -hmm. um, and he's um, um, his, his really got one of the first encyclopedic tafsirs we know about. So you, you, you go back to about the fourth century with a Tabari, with his large tafsir, which is you know, very much concerned with. Um, you know the statements of the early people as well as some of Tabari's own analysis um Maturidi he does have statements of early Muslims but he doesn't give the Isnad chains he's not a, a traditionalist in that way and he is giving many more kind of theological arguments within the tafsir so mm -hmm. it's kind of a theolo an early theological tafsir but very rich and very interesting um so those are the two works we have there are some other works that are lost yeah. one of them is called can I just say this one thing um yeah of uh, course uh, uh, Maqalat, uh, you know, Al Ashari famously has a book called Maqalat mm. Al Islamiyin. So, a Maqalat, again, it's a standard name. It's like a heresiography. So, a, a book, you know, literally of like different doctrines, the book of doctrine, doctrines, you could say, um, mm. different things that people hold as their opinions. And so, it would be a kind of book categorizing all the sects and groups and theological opinions up until his time. Um, but that's a lost book. We don't have that. We just got a very small quote um in uh, one of the maturity uh, classical maturity texts uh, that i found apart from that really not much seems to be left